How are you today? I'm well, if you're talking to me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> There we are. We'll be starting in just a couple of minutes. About two minutes, and we'll give the list of it right on top. Yeah, I was intending to do a conference with the existing walking school. Really appreciate you doing this, Faith. Thank you. No, I took this conception to not completely take my school, but like I wanted to make sure that this is something a little bit different. This isn't fitness. This is much more meditation version of what rest is going to be. Because at least for me, the holidays are really, really hard. You know, we travel.
The energy centers of our body feel our emotion, feel our stress. And when we have anxiety, it contracts, and it can cause little physical hurt. It can cause little excitement to where we feel overjoyed. And as we move up, into our shoulders and our throat. We get that excitement, we get that ability to speak and sing for joy or cry in pain. Take a deep breath, let it out. Today is about having gratitude for those good things in our life. James 1.17 says, every good and doubt and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. So, no matter what life means to us, we have a good space to come to the Father. So, let's take a deep breath and hands on our head just for a second. And then exhale and lower the head down. Now on the inhale, we're going to gently step to the right. So inhale, step to the right, and now just quietly lean towards your left. And then inhale back, squeeze, and bring your head back and lower your hands. And do the same thing with all the other sides. So inhale, step to the left. And tilt this a little bit to the right. Go back straight. 
And when I open up that place in our heart that that's the joy of so we can go over the events of kingdom objects and all exhale and speed back just a little bit. And then exhale and more than this. So now we're gonna do that a little bit faster, and then we will add a couple of more diverse folks that we need to share. So we need to arm up and step to the right. So this next one, you can try scanning or you can try it in the chair. This one is designed to pull energy from your heels to your feet. So standing, and then you're going to take a step forward. You're going to bend your right arm onto your right thigh, and then you're going to put that left hand. If you do it in the chair, you want to twist the side of the chair just a little bit. And you can keep the left leg out of the Put your elbow on your thigh, and sweep that arm right over your head. Okay? It's all of that energy that's there, right? Pull it and then pull it. It's all the way out of the Standing up, straighten the front leg, and take the arm off the right foot. In the chair, you just lean back and grab your foot. Now, this is a little harder, it's not like a little bit. See, you want to start with her, you can keep going.
So this one, we come back down, we draw our hands on the nerve out. And then we move forward a far away like this. If you're in the chair, perfect. If you're in the chair, you're just going to hold your arms up behind your back and move over that far. I like this one, it's called the humble warrior. I'm going to be bowed down and give thanks. And even if we're celebrating your kids, on an inhale, we're going to release our hands and swing your way up. Oh. And again, we're just reaching as high as we can and we're going to warm our hands. So let's take a deep breath here. And the next scripture is First Thessalonians 5, 16 to 18. Rejoice always, pray constantly, give thanks in all circumstances. But this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. So as we move forward, all right, we're going to do the other side. So all this work we did, we came down with the other leg. We want to think about that rejoicing. We want to be grateful in that place where we are able to live a life. We are able to live a life that sometimes has hardship because we have that freedom in a busy way. Right. So this time we'll take our own dance and she does. We'll do two on each side again. So we're going to inhale and we're going to just twist to the left. Other side. And again. All right. Now we're going to do that side and well on the other side. So in the chair, you just turn the other way and switch that way out. Be mindful. And then sometimes if you to the edge of the chair, it gives you a more room. Do not just control it. If you want to remain standing, you can just do it with the other leg. So you bend into that way, keep your arm on the thigh, and you swing that right arm up over up here. You create a long line of energy that you can send up with our gratitude. When we repeat here, what is it? We're going to reach that front arm, front right thigh, take into our other hand, and just take it back. Just let me take that minute, and take it back, and breathe. We're going to bend down to that one the board now. And we'll lower our hands up to our back and lower our body over that one. Thank you for all of us. Thank you for all of us. Thank you for all of us. And it's funny and not our best. You can show us that you can and raise your hands up over it. So let's open up a little bit. So we're going to do 
some seated postures that help us to open the front of our bodies and the next step can do a little set of So put your hands on your knees. You just want to push your chest forward and flip the chin back. Sometimes you exhale, round your shoulders and your back. And then inhale, and bring that chest forward and throw the shoulders back. And then exhale, and wrap out. Inhale, and up. And come through this one. Nice straight spine. And to help ourselves feel a little bit more reset, we're going to take one more time to that. Each hole. Exhale, lay it down. And search for some collections. Three, 14, 16. And above all these, on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony, and let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to continue your call in the one body, and let the word of Christ dwell in virtue, teach and admonish one another in all wisdom, and sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God. So one of the things I always love, and we'll get to Psalm as we approach the class, is that God always richly rewarded his warriors, whether it was, you know, if, if, if they worked true of heart, they were given great gifts, whether it was fame or now riches, he always took care of the people that fought for him. And he continues to do this for us. So this next series, all of these are our warrior poses. These are a little easier to do for standing up because it would be more for standing in the chair if you can choose. I'll show you standing up and then I can show you in the chair. So the first one, we're going to inhale, we're going to step forward with our right foot and lift our arms overhead. And our goal here is to just feel that energy in our body. In the chair, we're going to turn just like we did for our side of the wall. We want to scooch right from the end of the chair because we want to see if we can get that right a little scratch, right? So if you have to, you can kick it further forward. It doesn't have to be straight back. You can kick it out. Okay. Because the goal is to feel a little something here. Have some sensation. All right. And just turn to face the side. Move your arm. Feel that energy come down. Relax into your belly. And then exhale. Wrap one of your legs. You want to lower your arms so that your right arm is over your front right leg and your back arm, your left arm. Is over the back of the chair. You want to stretch your fingers as if you're being pulled in two directions. Again, this is over the chair. This is the floor. This time, we're going to take our front hand, we're going to lift it down, and we're going to put it back and down by the hand. And we're going to come back. And we're just going to take it from the front hand. Mm -hmm.
that's a combo border that we did before. So you see that on that.
Our next scripture, I want to close your eyes for this one. It's just incredibly powerful the way I didn't realize it's what it's been serving at the rest. That is. Always or for the sex. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. But all men know your forbearance. The Lord is at hand. Have no anxiety about anything. And in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Take a moment here. That scripture is incredibly powerful. Because our thanksgiving and God's forbearance gives us a place of no joy. This one's a little bit of a fun chair dance. So I'm going to show you a set of poses and then we'll keep you with them. It's just fun to sort of figure out where our body goes. <laughs> so the first one is our dancing Shiva. And I'm going to do a bit of a dance. Let me do it. Like yes, so you need your walk. And I'm going to go on with that. I'm going to spin the star. Go back down to the right. Star. Okay. And the end of the Okay, so nice and easy. It's a little dance. I find, especially when I'm in my chair, on black summer, the highest setting is helpful to keep me from feeling overly tippy as I do that big driving. I press the middle here. I live in a body made of rubber bands, and so I find that I'm very easy. Okay, rubber bands, I got that. All right. So we will start with our right hand. Going to our left foot, not even teaching up, so we can. This is like a blue tour. That's more in the lower hand to your block. And the right hand in the air. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Star. 
minutes. The life that we all enter will help us. Isn't that so hard? Because life is busy. And sometimes that's easy to go back to the children's show. Today, let's turn our attention to the quiet and the peace. So we, I have a couple of songs. Psalm 171. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. So this next one feels a little funny, but we're going to try it. You may want to use your box and you want to leave it the other for it. So it's a Comfort choice depending on how your back looks for your body. So, this one is about engaging all the muscles, not the flex your feet. So, I'm putting mine on my block so I can not flex your feet, engage your legs, tighten up your belly muscles and chest. And you put your hands on the side of the chair, or can you need to on the back of the chair? I find it a little more stable if I use the back of the chair. I'm just engage everything and I just take five deep breaths here. Um, Mm-hmm. 
questions, thoughts, concerns, or goals, and then bring that all back into the room. You can space your hand on the blocks and you can do the cheese. Some of us, this is enough, right? We don't want to hinder that bit, right? If you need a little bit more stretch, you can just kind of push on that knee so that it goes a little bit more open. It's a little bit of a lot of stretch. There's a tiny bit of sensation. Let's just gently lower that foot back to the floor. I find that the last time I talk to this whole night, we can keep that up. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Just use that ankle over the knee. Just any amount of pressure. You just want sensation, you don't want pain. Always pain. So we're going to just push one more time. So to make sure our body is relaxing and just for the day. So on this one, we're going to inhale our arms overhead. I'm going to twist the right. Just gently, you can drape your arms in the back of the chair. You can get your hands on your knee. Thank you. 
presentation. I have just a minute left before the U.S. to sign off. So I'm going to read out that scripture and ask the ladies to go through it on. Revelation 5 13. And I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea. All there is the same to him who sits upon the throne and to the Lamb who blessed and honor and glory and might forever and ever. this week. What can we do that shows what we have to act to? Sink into your heart and find something that's good. Every religion in the world, yoga, Christianity, they all believe that the spark of divinity lives inside of us. And in yoga, we say namaste, that the light of the divinity honors and recognizes the light of the So I say to you, namaste. Namaste.